Hello, Dr. Saperstein. It's Arnav, one of your previous students from ninth grade world history. I wanted to come on here and say thank you for everything that you did for us, um, especially all the time, the effort, and the commitment that you put into making every single class really engaging, whether it's playing um, review games or even debates and discussions and simulations. I really enjoyed them and I really think they enhanced the learning experience for us students. And I just wanted to um, show my appreciation for that and for everything you did for this, everything you have been doing for the school community. And I really hope to speak with you or meet with you um, in the near future. Bye. Hi, Dr. Saperstein. It's Jack Alapoli, and you were my world history teacher two years ago. I'd like to thank you for helping me, my fellow classmates, and all the classes that you've taught at your time at Wayne Hills. Back when I was a freshman, you not only did a great job of teaching me and our class, so we all did well on the test and understood the material, but you also made your class enjoyable and memorable. Even today, I can remember back to when we played Jeopardy the day before a test, with me, James, and Asher all being on the same team, and how competitive we used to get, trying to get first place and get extra credit on the next quiz or test. Dr. Saberstein, the main reasons why I'm thankful for you is freshman year, I had your class, and it was you made it really easy to help us transition from middle school into high school. And whenever we had a test that was the next day or a project, you always you would always ask us if we needed more time and you would give it to us to study and made sure that we got good grades and you always helped us with the debates and made sure that we were good at public speaking and I just really appreciate the fact that you were so passionate about your class and you can tell that you really care about us as students and want to see us grow and prepare us for the future classes so that's why I'm thankful for you Dr. Saberstein. Hey Dr. Saberstein, um, this is Monath here and I just wanted to say I'm very thankful for everything that you've done for me and how you've helped me progress academically and intellectually. Uh, looking back at freshman year and, you know, how I've uh, matured since eighth grade, um, you know, before your class, I was really very focused on mathematics and uh, science. And I, I really initially didn't see that much value in history and uh, studying uh, history. Like it just seemed, you know, we were just memorizing facts. But I feel like your class gave me a very different perspective on history and uh, interpretation and the importance of history. You know, um, a lot of times uh, school kind of focuses on, you know, memorizing facts and uh, but w we never use those facts to make arguments or debate or talk about uh, how we can, you know, uh, change the world that we have today or what are create some explanations for how the world today um arose from historical trends in the past. And your class showed me that history is a lot more valuable than uh, rote memorization of facts. It's um, the, it gets to the core of studying uh, people and uh, what it means to be human and how we can, you know, redress uh, certain issues or how we can move in a positive direction. Um, all of these questions um, on a societal level can only be answered through a study of history and, uh, and a study of social studies. And I feel like y your class helped me mature a lot more intellect, uh, mature intellectually and uh, allowed me to realize that. Um, before your class, I never really saw any value to in reading the news or um, listening to uh, or following politics or being interested in um, it, being interested in p current political discussions about uh, where what is our role as humans like. What is the role of maybe responsibility? Um, how can we, um, you know, optimize for freedom and, you know, uh, I guess safety. And it, I feel like your class really helped me understand a lot of the basis for men, many of the politics. Um, uh, you know, you, you can't listen, you can't watch a political uh, commentator without seeing the ideas of Rousseau or John Locke or the economic ideals of Adam Smith or. Um, you know, a, a lot of economists that we focus on and, um, you know, all of history has consequences and, um, you know, I think that's a very important lesson that you showed me and made me a, a more informed um, citizen and also, uh, I think, a more informed person who can now um, make rational claims, hopefully rational claims about 
our current world based on historical trends. So I, w I just wanted to thank you for helping me uh, better understand history and um, help me explore my own biases and create a more nuanced perspective on, you know, life. So I just wanted to thank you. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I just wanted to say I'm very thankful for you, Dr. Saverson.